This is an unbelievable matchup. Action packed fight. I'm in the gym working right now, dedicating myself to the sport, pushing myself to the limit because I never wanted to win a fight so bad in my life. Yeah, he wants to win just the same way I want to win. But one thing I do know about any sport, when you lose, it's in your mind. If you lost once, it's in your mind. If you lost twice, it's in your mind. From day one, I was always taught to be a winner. No matter what, be a winner. Push yourself to the limit. Stay focused. And be the best that you and be the best that you can be. Well, so we get a chance to see a very serious Floyd just by his um, his stance there. Maybe taking a shot or two at Floyd by talking about if you lose once, it's in your mind. That was a joint press conference we were able to watch. The last time we'll see both fighters together before the week of the fight. Uh, money, Manny, polite, differential. Stephen A., uh, how do you think Floyd handled himself yesterday? Well, I thought he handled himself uh, like a professional. Um, you know, we're used to seeing the very boisterous Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, I can crack any Da Vinci code in the ring. I'm the best. That's stuff that he has said to me personally when I've sat down and interviewed him. We've all seen, you know, you know how, how boisterous and in and, and, and some people's eyes obnoxious or outlandish that he can be. Um, he's promoting the fight and things of that nature in the past. I think he understands the seriousness of uh, and the totality of this moment. I think he recognizes uh, that this is a potentially legacy defining fight in the eyes of some out there. Uh, to me, all he needed to do was take the fight. Win, lose, or draw, he's going to still go down as one of the best. We understand that. But you had to take this fight. Uh, but I think he sees it differently because, you know, he wants to be unblemished. He doesn't want to lose to anybody. Uh, and, and that's just the way that it goes. And you understand the greatness of a Manny Pacquiao. You recognize that Manny Pacquiao uh, engaged in very uncharacteristic behavior by talking smack about you, by, you know, goating you into taking this fight, willing to go to extremes in order to, as Skip would say, shame him into taking this fight. And I think that what you saw, and I know people can make the argument that if it's different than if it's different from what Floyd is accustomed to doing, maybe he'll be a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe it's something that could work against him. And I respect that. But I'm of the mindset that Floyd is more serious than he has ever been in his career uh, for a fight. He knows that the Oscar De La Hoya he went up against, that isn't this Manny Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. This Manny Pacquiao is lighter. He's incredibly fast. He's a huge threat. Floyd sees it for what it is. And I think that Floyd will be more ready than he has ever been in his career. And I think what you saw yesterday is indicative with no playing around, Skip, What in terms of what I have been alluding to over the last few weeks. When you stand across that ring from this dude and you wanted this fight and you understand the magnitude of this fight, and everything it entails. What you've done is you put yourself in a position where you may very well have never seen the best of Floyd until May 2nd. That's when you're going to see it because this is what it's about. One of the things that Floyd didn't articulate or expound upon, Skip, is that because of the losses that Manny Pacquiao had in his career, you can make a legitimate argument that there is more pressure on Floyd because Manny Pacquiao, if he loses, is just another loss. He's lost before and he's still perceived as being great. That's, you know, so if he loses this fight, you know, so be it. Manny Pacquiao got knocked out on his face and still got up and had, you know, considerable respect tantamount to what he had before he got knocked out. Floyd doesn't know that world because Floyd has never lost. And so because of it, the level of seriousness that he's attached to this fight, I thought was indicative of what you saw in that press conference yesterday. He's not playing. He's not joking. He understands the magnitude of the situation. And come May 2nd, 
I believe he will be more ready than he has ever been in his life. This is what Manny Pacquiao asked for, but I'm not sure he recognizes mm. what he actually put himself into. So you're saying he saved his best for age 38, right? No. Uh, no, I'm saying that, I'm not saying I'm trying to save your best. He might have done something, but sometimes, Skip, pressurized situation where it brings out the best, the worst in some, it brings out the very, very best in others. And I don't think that the pressure that Floyd Mayweather has faced in his career has ever compared to what he's facing now. And as a result, I believe that he will rise to the occasion and he will find stuff in himself that even he didn't know he had. Okay. I, I hope they both bring out the absolute best in each other because Manny's best will be better than Floyd's best. But now back to Floyd's demeanor yesterday. Are you saying it surprised you a little or you weren't surprised by it? I was a little surprised. So was I. I was a little surprised because I expected I expected him to come out. I did too. You know, sticking his chest out. Let's I, go. That, that's the and guy I didn't I expect know. that. That's the Floyd I, saw I know from, from yeah. a distance, from television, from videos. But this Floyd surprised me because he came across as calm, mm -hmm. cool, classy, multi, 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 multi millionaire that he is. He seemed like a man about town, a, a man who was there to impress the masses with his dignity. And that's not the Floyd we see in some videos that get posted, and certainly the Floyd we have seen occasionally in 24-7. And my theory is Floyd's performance was so great, he was on such uh, his best behavior yesterday that in Los Angeles he deserved to be nominated for an Academy Award. I believe that Floyd has been so stung by Manny and Freddie Roach, Manny's trainer, portraying Floyd as the absolute villain in this fight, that it, it hurts his pride a little bit, and that he came yesterday to show the world he was dressed to the nines with his tie cinched up. He looked good. He looked good, and he handled himself beautifully, but I think it was somewhat of an act to show the world I'm the favorite here, and I'm classy. Now, I'm not buying, but I'm, I'm just saying that's what he tried to portray yeah. yesterday. Are you buying that, Stephen A? You he's not, he's not classy. Not even a little. Not not even not even a little bit, Skip. I, I, I'm in all seriousness. As hyped as I am for this fight, as excited as I am for this fight, I didn't get that looking at him at all. I only know Floyd Mayweather, the boxer. Whenever we speak, that's what we're talking about, or we're talking about basketball okay. at a basketball game. I, I don't know all other stuff about him. I am telling you, you know, in all my years of covering him as a fighter, what I saw yesterday was a dude that was like, you know, my legacy is on the line primarily because you guys have been talking smack about me. Okay. You tried to shame me into taking this fight. You talked smack about me. You put yourself in this situation mm -hmm. where you are literally trying to threaten everything I've worked my entire life for. All Floyd Mayweather has known yeah. is fighting. That's what he has done all his life. And here comes Manny Pacquiao, loved by everybody, particularly in the Philippines. He's a congressman. He could run for president there someday. Jimmy Kimmel joking around with him about that a few weeks ago. All of this stuff is going on. And Floyd is looking at this guy not just as a threat in the ring, but a threat to every single thing he has worked for. And this man is coming to take what I've earned. I'm going to destroy this boy. Okay. That's what I saw in Floyd Mayweather yesterday. Okay. Now, let me defend Manny against what Floyd suggested are the seeds of doubt that got planted in Manny's psyche because he has lost a couple of fights. You agree with me, Manny got robbed, all time, all time robbed against Bradley. Are we on? Timothy Bradley. Yes. Okay. So yes. We, we agree yes. on that one. Yes. And then, Robbery. To me. Yes. He got bored and careless in not his first, second, or third fight against Marquez, his fourth fight against Marquez, when all he wanted for five long years was Floyd Mayweather Jr. So in his fourth fight against Marquez, he let his mind wander, and at, in the last three or four seconds of a round, he wandered into a punch that knocked him down and out for a few seconds. 
And yet, at that point in the fight, he was decisively ahead on every card. So are you going to hold that against Manny Pacquiao as seeds of doubt in his mind? I'm not. I'm sorry. Doesn't count. Well, well, well Skip, you don't, ha you, you don't have to. Boxing aficionados do. The great Bernard Hopkins, former undisputed middleweight champion of the world, talked about how sometimes it takes about 10 fights to get over something like that. I'm going to hold it against Manny Pacquiao. It's not that he lost, Skip. It's not that he, it's not that he got quote-unquote KO'd. It's that he got put to sleep. If Manny Pacquiao got, had gotten caught with a blow, went down, couldn't get up in 10 seconds or got up or was wobbly, you know, a la Roy Jones Jr. gets an Antonio Tarver or somebody that's different. Now, you remember, let me go back to another fighter, Skip. You remember when Roy Jones Jr., my friend, got knocked out by Antonio Tarver, got dropped, got up, but couldn't get his bearings under him in 10 seconds. Referee mm -hmm. waved the fight off. OK, Roy Jones got caught. That happens. It's boxing. But when he got knocked out by Glenn Johnson, ever since then, people have been asking him to retire because he fell back, hit his head to the back of the canvas, was on the ground shivering, scared the living hell out of people like myself and others who know him, along with folks in the sport of boxing. My point is, it's not about whether you win or lose. It's how you go down. Hearns got knocked out by Hagler. But he got up. He just didn't know where he was. OK, he got knocked out by Iran Barkley. Sugar Ray Leonard had him wobbly and, and, and won by TKO. OK, we understand that knockouts happen all the time. But when they happen in a certain fashion, it's alarming to you because there's certain blows you never fully recover from because it's boxing that we're talking about here. So if Manny Pacquiao had gotten stunned by Marquez and dropped, but couldn't get his bearings under him in 10 seconds, that would be different. But when you are face down, literally out, and need smelling salts to help you get up and get to your senses before you are aware of where you are, that is a devastating blow that makes people think about if you'll ever be what you once were. You can come on and fight again, you can win again, but will you ever be what you were? That's what we're talking about here with Manny Pacquiao, and I think that's what Floyd Mayweather was alluding to. How impressed were you with Manny's last couple of fights after he got knocked out? I thought he looked very quick. So did I. I thought he looked incredibly skilled. Yep. I thought he looked like his old self, Thank but you. there's one problem. He never really, he never really got hit. And I don't think he's going to, I, I mean, who does Floyd ever really get? Hit? He pillow fights, but he doesn't hit well, again, anybody. Well, again, Floyd, let me tell you something. Let's, listen, Cotto, Sugar Shane, De La Hoya, all of those guys said, quote, Floyd hits harder than people realize. Floyd's issue is Floyd doesn't follow up with aggression where he's counterpunching and he's under the attack and he lets himself go, you know, throwing defense to the wind. Mm -hmm. He's extraordinarily cautious, but that doesn't mean his punches don't hurt. It means that he doesn't follow up with the level of aggression accustomed to what other people yeah. see from Manny Pacquiao. By the Pacquiao way, Cotto said immediately after his fight with Pacquiao, he had never seen the combination of speed and power. Never faced it the way he faced it from Manny Pacquiao. Okay, last quick and everybody, point. And there are a lot of people who say That's that Pacquiao it. isn't the same fighter he was okay. then. All right, well, neither is Floyd at 38 years of age. Okay, last quick point. I'm going to give you, you this know what point. I'm alluding to. Because when they stood nose to nose yesterday, Obviously, Floyd is taller. He's listed as two inches taller, 5'8 to 5'6, than Manny. His reach is said to be five inches more than Pacquiao's. I recently asked Freddie Roach about that, and his counterpunch to me was, yeah, that's true, but people don't realize how much trouble Floyd has with his fists. He said all the Mayweathers have small hands, and they regularly had trouble with their hands. Floyd has just one special guy just to have to wrap his hands before he puts his gloves on. So the point Freddie is making is that Floyd has reach, but his hands bother him, so he's lost all of his punching power. There's no threat of a knockout by Floyd of Manny. So again, he's saying that Manny's quickness and power will offset height and reach, which clearly are in Floyd's favor. Well, listen, if that's the case, Manny, don't, don't play any defense. 
Come in guns blazing, <laughs> swinging at Floyd and watch where it gets you. Okay, all right, he heard him. Anyway, you're talking about those seeds of doubt mm -hmm. that Floyd yep. planted. That was in the uh, beginning of what Floyd said. He said, you lose once, it's in your mind. You mm -hmm. lose twice, it's in your mind. He was talking to Manny specifically. Sure. Uh, we will obviously be there for the fight. First take is on the road in Las Vegas for fight week. We will be counting down to Money and Manny. There will be special guests to join us. You definitely don't want to miss it ahead of the big fight on May 2, as Manny would say.